One of the exciting things about farmers markets, and we've seen this pop up all over the United States, is that communities, consumers and food producers, are once again joining hands and reclaiming some kind of control over our food distribution system. Uh, and it's done so in a very um, upbeat, creative fashion where together we're learning a lot about each other's lives. And we find that in the Crescent City Farmers Market, especially when you think of the last five years with uh, a parade of hurricanes and then industrial disasters, we've gotten to learn a great deal about one another. And there's a growing sense of solidarity between urban and rural, between consumers, fishermen, and certainly when the um, uh, the BP, um, I always refer to it as an event horizon, but the um, Deepwater Horizon disaster struck. Uh, what was so extraordinary was that we found out very quickly in the farmer's market that the first thing that consumers thought of was the fishermen, and not just the fishermen as a generic group of people, but people they actually know by name because they've been buying products, fin fish, crabs, oysters, shrimp, directly from families. And uh, the ability of the farmer's market to be a place where we learn about each other and also a place where we experiment economically, where we see this incredible entrepreneurial verve take place in the farmer's market. We're taking that one step further uh, during Lent in 2010, which is an important period uh, between Mardi Gras and Easter, where we take eating fish on Fridays very seriously in New Orleans. Uh, and we're going to be establishing a community-supported fishery relationship between a group of Lake Pontchartrain fishermen and farmers market consumers in New Orleans and use our Thursday farmers market where we're standing right now as the point of distribution for consumers to order their products at the start of the season, at the beginning of Lent, and pick them up every Thursday so that they can bring their fish home to their families and serve fish on Friday in their dinners, around the dinner table, at home, together as families. Uh, the idea of community-supported fishery, much like farmers markets, is to begin to correct, uh, is to begin to develop direct relationships and shared risk between consumers and fishermen. Reconnecting with fishing families in this time of this difficult season when money is scarce, products may be scarce, but certainly money is scarce, uh, and they will begin to develop a stronger sense of solidarity with the fishing families, joining in in the level of risk by investing on the front end of the season. And I think this is a really important piece of uh, what is otherwise so lost in so many of our relationships with our food is we don't have a direct relationship where we can look the food producers in the eyes. They themselves stand behind the quality of the products, physically stand behind their products, and sell them directly to consumers.